Housing KG. Family Worship Center. Glorifying Christ and preaching Him to be glorified. Welcome. Wanakuona wewe bwana. Naomba bwana baraka zako kazishushe katika ibada hii. Bless all those who have come. Release your grace, achilia neema yako na kibali chako. Tunasema ni asante. Tunazidi kuombea taifa letu. Tunaombea viongozi ambao umetupa bwana. Give them wisdom. Give them understanding that they will do your will. O tukufu wa jina lako. We love you Lord. We love you Lord. We love you. Tunakupenda Bwana, tunakuabudu, tunakutukuza. Tunatangaza neema zako na kibali zako. Hata tunapoenda kusikia neno lako, you will bless us through your word. Utatubariki kupitia neno lako. Katika jina la Yesu, tumeomba na kuamini. 
Can somebody shout amen? Upigie bwana makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Salimia jirani yako mwambie you look wonderful, you look wonderful. Amen. Mwambie you are blessed, you are blessed. And Jesus loves you. Mwongeze Jesus loves you. Inua mkono wako sema mimi ni wa ajabu. Na Yesu ananipenda. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Tunaweza kuti. Tunaweza keti. Thank you, thank you, praise and worship. Asanti kwa kutuongoza vizuri katika uwepo wa Bwana. Amen. Asanti God bless you. Nashukuru Bwana kwa nafasi ambayo umetupa tena tukaweze kupatana katika ibada hii ya pili. Ah, uh, nashukuru kwa kila mmoja ambaye ameamua kama ni mgeni ni mara ya kwa kwanza kuhudhuria ibada hii. We welcome you in Jesus name. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Hata wale wanaungana na sisi kwa mitandao tunawakaribisha katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Nataka kuingia tu kwa neno, nataka tu tuingie kwa neno. For the last few Sundays nimekuwa nikihubiri kuhusu the conquering church. And last Sunday I talk about niliongea kuhusu maombi. Kanisa haliwezi shinda bila maombi. And I thank God because we are praying as a church. Kama vile ndugu wetu ametangaza, tulianzisha lisala maombi, the hour of prayer. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday we will be having the hour of prayer. That is kuanzia saa 12 mpaka saa moja. Watu wanakuja hapa lisali moja for prayer, the hour of prayer. And things have changed. Mambo yamebadilika. On Friday we had kesha na nilikuwa naambia watu wengine Nahitaji kuombea kanisa hili. Watu wafunguke macho waone kile Mungu anafanya. Because God is doing things in this church. God is doing things in this area. Tumekuwa tukiombea sana, lakini watu waoni people are seeing the negative. Kuna mtumishi mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Gehazi. Alikuwa anatumikia nabii anaitwa Elisha. Na wakati mmoja walivamiwa na wanajeshi baadui zao na what Gehazi alikuwa anaona Gehazi ni wale washirika wanaonanga negative I'll talk about that Kuna watu ambao wanaonanga shetani hata mali hakuna shetani They see negative they see defeat They see people They see everything Ukimwekea chai kama kuna mali tuliena mali fulani tukaekewa chakula ndugu mmoja akaambua aombe akasema ninashika mapepo yote yanaweza kuja ameingia kwa hii chakula na chakula bibiri nasema you receive it with thanksgiving yana kemea mapepo kwa chakula kuna washirika wako hivyo sio hapa hii kanisani mwetu lakini wako hivyo salimia jirani yako mwambie sio hapa one of those washirika ni mmoja alikuwa anaitwa nani gehazi aliona askari akakuja akaambia Joshua akaambia Elisha akamwambia Elisha Tumekuja kuvamiwa. Elisha kaona shida ya Gehazi ni kuwa macho yake haioni vile minaona. Shida ni kuwa Gehazi aoni kile ninao. So akaambia Mungu, Mungu, fungua macho huyu jamaa. Tunatumika na yeye lakini aoni fungua macho. Na Gehazi alipofunguliwa macho hakuona wale askari wame, wale majeshi walimekuja kuvamia akaona jeshi kubwa la binguni limewazunguka kuliko lile jeshi ambalo lilikuwa linakuja mbele zao and that's what i want to pray that may god open your eyes you see the power of prayer that we are doing kwa maana wengine hawaoni haleluya wengine wafanye nini hawaoni na sande nilisema it is sin not to pray Kuomba kutoomba ni dhambi because you open the gates unafungua milango yako shetani can attack you in every area katika area yote watoto wako nini he can attack you because you are not praying that's why we have hour of prayer na every friday we have half cash ya maombi kuanzia saa tatu na nusu mpaka saa saba we come here and we seek the face of god i want to go to the next level of the conquering church kanisa lenye ushindi ni lalisa kanisa gani nataka tufungue biblia zetu kwa kitabu cha hebrania hebrews chapter 11 hebrews chapter 11 we read from verse 32 up to verse 
and i request that we stand tunaposoma neno la bwana naomba tusimame kila mmoja simame as we read the word of god nitasoma kwa kizungu na baadaye nitasoma kwa kiswahili biblia inasema a uh, hebrews chapter 11 verse 32 mpaka 35 inasema and what more shall i say what more shall i say i do not have time to tell you about gideon barak samson and jephthah about david and samuel and the prophets verse 33 who through faith conquered kingdom conquered kingdom administered justice and gained what was promised who shut the mouths of lion aha uh-huh. quenched the fury of the flames and escaped the edge of the sword whose weakness was turned to strength and who became powerful in battle and rooted foreign armies 35 women received back their dead raised to life again there were others who were tortured refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection niweke kwa Kiswahili niweke kwa Kiswahili 33 niweke kwa Kiswahili mstari wa 33 ni yes 32 nami niseme nini tena maana wakati usinge nitosha kuleta habari za Gideoni na Barak na Samsoni na Yefta na Daudi na Samueli na zama nabii. Aha. Ambao kwa imani walishinda milki za falme. Walitenda haki, walipata hahadi, walifunga vinywa vya simba. Aha. Walizima nguvu za moto. Waliokoka na makali ya upanga. Walitiwa nguvu baada ya kuwa dhaifu walikuwa hodari katika vita wakaki, walikimbiza majeshi ya wageni aha mstari wa 35 wanawake walipokea wafu wao waliofufuliwa lakini wengine waliumizwa vibaya hata kuuawa wasikubali ukombozi ila wapate ufufuo uliyo bora may the lord bless his word this morning in jesus name tunaweza keti tunaweza keti today I want to talk about the conquering faith imani inayoshinda a church that conquers kanisa linaloweza ni kanisa ambalo liko na imani inayoleta ushindi katika maisha yao kama kuna kitu kimepungua nyakati hizi za mwisho ni kuwa watu wanaenda kanisani watu wanaohubiriwa neno la bwana watu wanamwabudu bwana na wanafanya mambo mengi lakini kuna kitu kimepungua imani ya watu the faith of men the faith of the church kanisa limepunguza imani yao that's why miracles are not seen hivyo ndio sababu miujiza itendeki hiyo ndio sababu washirika wengine wanakimbizwa na mapepo sio hapa kwingine mtu anaenda kanisani lakini anakimbizwa na mapepo that's why there is a lot of fear kuna uoga umejaa uoga wa maisha uoga wa mambo mengi there is fear ambayo imeingia hata mpaka kanisani Why? Because the faith of many imeanza kudidimia. Imani ya watu wengi imedidimia. I've come to tell you this afternoon. Nimekuja kukuambia ya kuwa if we need to conquer we must possess what we call a conquered faith in Jesus name. Na Biblia inasema kwa mstari wa 33 mahali tumesema wale ambao kupitia imani yao walioshinda ambao kwa imani walishinda milki za wafalme walitenda haki walipata ahadi they received promises of God unajua ahadi zingine za Mungu ziko tu kwa vitabu ya Biblia lakini watu wazioni ni kwa sababu their faith We receive the promises of God by faith. Tunapokea hadi za Mungu iwe ni uponyaji ya uzima ya nini tunaipokea kwa imani. Na ndio unaona ambao Biblia inasema ambao kwa imani kwa imani walishinda milki za falme. Walitenda haki. They lived a righteous life because of faith. Walipata ahadi. Walifunga vinywa vya simba. Kwa imani Please jirani yako wewe oh, umefanya nini ni kwa imani? Msalimie tu mwambie kwa imani umefanya nini? Mwambie usinijibu, Bwana yetu asifiwe. 
imani ya watu wengi imepotea na imepungua that's why we become weak the church is becoming weak kanisa linaweza tajwa na zilinaweza hata ibishwa watu hawezi hata kimbiza mapepo watu hawezi hata kufanya jambo lolote demons are chasing believers kitu hujawahi sikika imeanza kusikika siku ati mapepo inakimbiza watu wanaomwamini Mungu who has had that who is greater is it god or demons nani mkubwa bwana wetu asifiwe god is greater than anything on friday i gave an example nilipeana mfano hata asubuhi nilipeana mfano nikasema wakati tulipokuwa college miaka mingi sana in eldoret nilisomea eldoret kuna mtu mmoja hapo town ya Eldoret. Nyumba yake ilivamiwa na mapepo na majini. Ukiingia kwa mlango hivi unatua ngo mawe. Ukienda kuingia kwa nyumba hakuna mtu, amejenga nyumba nzuri lakini inakaa mapepo. Watu wakai huko ndani. Ukienda unatwangwa. Unaingia. Siku hiyo mimi nilikuwa mwinjilisti, siku hata mchungaji, I was in college. Na huyo ndugu akakuja because tulikuwa tumeenda tuka kuna mahali tulikuwa tumeenda panaitwa maili ine wale wanajua Eldoret tulienda maili ine maili ine ni mahali ambapo kumejawa wa waislamu sana waislamu sana and uh, and uh, we preach there baka waislamu wakaokoka mwenda zimu aka aka akaponywa kabisa mwenda zimu akaponywa kabisa So huyo mzee alikuwa huko. Alipoona hiyo akasema nienda kuitea huyu kijana mwinjilisti anaitwa Mwanzia. Na akakuja akanita. Tukaenda tukiwa vijana wa inne. Tulikuwa four boys tukaenda kwa hiyo nyumba. Ilikuwa huko Eldoret. Na tukaingia huko ndani. Sisi tulipoingia hatukusikia mawe. Mwingine akiingia anatwangwa na mawe. Sisi tulipoingia hakuna mawe ilitwangwa. Na tukaingia huko tukaomba tulilala hapo siku tatu prayer and fasting siku ya mwisho tulisikia tu sauti mashenzi nyinyi hiyo ndio sauti tulisikia mashenzi nyinyi kumbe kusema hiyo hiyo mapepo ilitoka mpaka saa hii huwa nikipitia hapo naona hiyo nyumba na mwenyewe aliingia hapo na those demons went in Jesus name that is the faith that conquers amen si ati shetani anakukimbisha the church does not need the devil aikimbishe kanisa inastahili kuwa na imani ambayo inayoshinda na ndio biblia inasema sina muda wa kusema kuongea kuhusu akina Gideon nani ambao kwa imani wali milki falme wali milki falme walipokea ahadi zao wengine tuko kanisani na nilisema hii last sunday nikasema ya kuwa you can be in the same church mmoja anabarikiwa mwingine anabaki chini Munasikia mahubiri moja, munasikia mafundisho moja, munaomba pamoja, mwingine yako chini, mwingine anabarikiwa. Why? Ni kwa sababu ya imani. You are faith. You are faith. Yesu akufanya jambo lolote, mujiza yote Yesu alifanya mingi, almost 80% of the miracles. Alikuwa anauliza, "Do you believe?" Anasema, "Yes, ninaamini." Anasema, "According to your faith." Kulingana na imani yako, pona kulingana na imani yako pokea according to your faith we receive the blessings of god through faith tunapokea healing nini kupitia imani but why siku hizi nini kimetendeka imani ya wengi imepungua na imepungua kwa sababu gani i want to give you five reasons why imani ya wakristo wengi iko chini siku hizi Five reasons and I'll give it to the scriptures. Kwa nini imani ya watu wengi wanakimbizwa na mapepo? Wengine wazi. Why is your faith down? Jambo la kwanza imani ya watu wengi imepungua ni kwa sababu wanataka kutumia logic instead of using faith. They want to reason things. Wanataka kutumia wacha to reason. Eh? Tuangalie badala ya kutumia imani. Eh? John chapter 11 verse 21 look at one person there's a lady there who was using logic with Jesus anataka kuambia yes mtu amekufa hawezi ru now it is true but faith does not see the way people see hallelujah imani haioni vile watu wanaona so Martha Yesu amekuja John chapter 11 verse 21 inasema Lord Martha said to Jesus 
if you had been here my brother would not have died kwa njia hii anasema ndugu yangu sasa amekufa hakuna kitu inaweza fa hakuna kitu inaweza fanywa mstari wa 29 nasema namna gani just go to verse 29 again john 11:29 nasema when mary had uh, not that one ile nilisoma asubuhi 39 yes take away the stone he said but lord said mother sikia mother tena mother yesu amekuja hapo walikuwa nangojea yesu yesu anasema toa hii jiwe ndio nifanye muujiza the same mother ule alisema sasa ndugu yangu amekufa tena anakuja anatumia hizo anasema but lord but lord mother said mother the sister of the dead man by this time there is a bad odor for he has been there for four days saa hii kuna harufu mbaya amekuwa hapo kwa siku ine use of logics imani ya watu wengi kanisani imepungua because they want to use logic instead of using faith What does God say about this situation? Watu wataka kujiuliza hiyo. Mungu anasema nini katika hii hali? Wanataka kusema hapana unajua vile kuko kuna maandamano, kuna nini, kuna story. So hivi kuko kutaka hivyo. Na imani ya wengi inafanya nini? Inapungua. Use of logic. Number two, why is kwa nini imani ya watu wengi ime imefanya nini imepungua ni kwa sababu there is a lot of fear uoga uoga fear uoga uoga kwanza uoga wa wanadamu people fear men rather than fearing god proverbs 29 verse 15 proverbs 29 ni verse 15 number 20 yes 25 proverbs 29 verse au unaona ni kama nitaanguka Paul kapanona ni kama nitaanguka hapa chini na sio msuri kwa maana shetani anaweza furahia fear of man will prove to be a snare uniweke kwa Kiswahili niweke hiyo kwa Kiswahili aha watu wanajitega kuogopa mwanadamu huleta mnini mtego bali aliyemtumainia bwana atakuwa salama Imani ya wengi imepungua ni kwa sababu wanaogopa wanadamu they are controlled by fear in their life Badala ya kumwamini Mungu unaongozwa na uoga People pray out of fear wengine wanaomba hata kutokana na uoga Job alikuwa anatoa sadaka juu ya uoga sio jua na muamini bwana unajua there is a difference unaweza lete sadaka matoleo yako unaweza enda kuomba lakini unaomba juu ya uoga unaogopa kitu fulani isitendeke kwa maisha yako lakini kuna mwingine anakuja kuomba sio jua anaogopa ni kwa sababu anamwamini Mungu that is faith na biblia inasema what i feared kile job aliogopa came upon him kila aliogopa isitendeke kwa watoto wake ilitendeka kila aliogopa isitendeke kwa maisha yake ilitendeka because he was controlled by fear may god deliver us from fear in jesus name bwana na tukomboe kutoka kwa uoga katika jina la yesu kanisani kumejawa shirika wamejawa na uoga badala ya imani fear na imepunguza fear we reduce your faith Biblia inasema the righteous are as bold as lion. Watakatifu ni wana ujasiri kama simba. Fear. Jambo la tatu ambalo limepunguza, jambo la tatu ambalo limepunguza imani kanisani, kanisani limepunguza imani kanisani ni ni, ni ile tunaita nini? Seeking men's approval rather than God. Kutafuta kukubarika na watu bila kukubarika na Mungu. You want the favor of people. You unataka watu wa kusifu. Unataka watu wa nini? Act on the wrong things. Hii ndio imepunguza imani sana. Because people are not focusing on God, they are focusing on men. Acts of the apostle, no. John chapter 5 verse 44. John chapter 5 verse 44. Yesu aliuliza swali, akauliza, "How can you believe since you accept glory from one another, but you do not seek the glory that comes from the only god 
Niweke na Kiswahili. Niweke na Kiswahili. Niweke na Kiswahili. Aha. Mutaamini namna gani? Utari imani yako ikuka namna gani? How will your faith grow? Aha. Niweke kwa Mwawezaje kuamini nyinyi mnaopokea utukufu nyinyi kwa nyinyi na utukufu ule utokao kwa Mungu aliyewa pekee hamutafuti unatafuta kukubalika na watu kuliko kukubalika na nani na Mungu people are spending time with men but they are not spending time with God that's why the faith imepungua nikikuuliza muda wako mwingi unautumia wapi unatumia na wanadamu wengine hata waombi kwa siku siku inapita tu hivyo anamkanga asubuhi anagonga brangeti teke na anaenda kazi wanatafuta utukufu kwa nyinyi kwa nyinyi unatafuta sifa zako nijulikane niko na pesa nijulikane mimi ndio tajiri hii area nijulikane mimi ndio ninasemanga eh kuliko kutafuta utukufu wa Mungu where mutaamini aje ndio nauliza how will your faith grow imani yako itakuwa namna gani imani yako itapungua that's why we have people wanafukuzwa na shetani na wako kanisani that's why tuko na watu wanaomba wanaota usiku wanaingia kwa mashimo baada ya kuota ndoto za binguni eh mwanala mwanala mkimbishwa mkimbishwa ni kama jamaa moja kijana mmoja tulikuwa anga naye kitambo wakati nilikuwa kijana mdogo na tulikuwa tunalala nyumba moja nyumba zetu zilikuwa za sako namna hii so tulikuwa tunalala nyumba moja zilikuwa self contained na mnapoa watu kama wawili ama watatu hmm? so tulikuwa tunalala naye usiku tu usiku wa manane ninasikia mlango inafunguliwa yama anatoka na nashindwa huyu kijana anaenda wapi na kutoka kutoka mbio akategwa kaanguka pale kumshika kumrudisha kumbe bado anaota unajua mimi nilishangaa sana siku hiyo ya kuwa kuna watu wanaweza hota na waamuke na waende kupika na arudi alale na nikuota anaota na anaenda anapika na anakula na anarudi analala huyu kijana alitoka kurudishwa hivi kumweka kwa kitanda hivi anasema we jana niliota ndoto mbaya sana nikamuliza gani niliota nakimbishwa na nyati nyati mara nikasikia nime kumbe saa zile tumembeba tunampeleka kwa kitanda sasa hizo ndio anaona ameanguka nyati kamru kuota kuna watu wanaota hiyo na wameokoka why their faith is down may god deliver us in jesus name na bwana atukomboe katika jina la yesu approval of men rather than approval of god Number ine, why do people imani ya watu wengi kwa nini imepungua despising anointed teachings kupuuza mafundisho yaliyo na upako na leadership iliyo na upako watu wengi wanapenda vituko wapendi mafundisho they like vituko that's why unakuta washirika wanaenda huku 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 hivi huku huku hivi huku huku hivi we have a lot of tourist believers because hawataki mafundisho na these teachings these teachings ndio zinainua imani hizi mafundisho ndio zinainua imani biblia inasema katika kitabu cha mark chapter 3 i think it should be verse 12 there inasema yesu akaita watu 12 wanafunzi wake so that they may be with him and that he may teach them our fundishe wanafunzi walitenda miujiza imani yao ikainuka ni kwa sababu walikaa Uh -huh. He appointed the truth that they might be with him and that he may send them out. Some version says that he may train them, teach them. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Kukaa chini ya mafundisho. That's why mitume walitenda miujiza. Their faith was high because they were sitting under teaching. Kanisa la sasa wanataka vituko. That's why imani yao iko chini. Amen. Their faith is down. Let's look at Acts of the Apostle. Twende kwa matendo ya mitume mali ni soma asubuhi. Acts of the Apostle 14 verse 8 to 10. Now listen to this man. I want you to show the power of teachings. Nataka kuonyesha power of teachings and the connection of teaching and faith. Vile mafundisho na imani inashikana. 
Kwa maana wengi wanataka vituko hataki mafundisho. Wanataka mahali kuna sarakasi unakuja, unakaliwa juu. Unakuja, unaimbua hebu inua mguu, kuja 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 hapa, wanataka hizo vituko hataki mafundisho. Ukija hapa family worship center, you will not get those vitukos. You will get the teachings of the word. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Biblia inasema in listia, mahali kulikuwa kunaitwa listia, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and had never walked. Hakuwa ametembea. He listened to Paul. <laughs> This is the change. Alimsikiza Paulo akifundisha na akinena neno la Bwana. Paul looked at him. Paulo alipoangalia kaona huyu anasikiza neno na neno limejenga imani ndani yake. He saw that he had faith to be healed. Mustari wa kumi, he called out, stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to do what? To walk. Teachings. Imani imepukua nisani kwa sababu watu wanapuuza mafundisho ya neno wanapuuza uongozi ambao Bwana ameleta katika kanisani wanapuuza the anointing of god hmm? watu wamejichanganya wanapuuza kile kiko wengine tu wamezoea wamezoea hawaoni mtu muhubiri ama mpasta wao ama yule ambao muhubiri ambao Bwana amewawekea pale anaweza lete neno na inue imani yao they have despised this passion imefanya imani ya wengi fanya nini ipungue because they will never receive the word wamepuuza hawezi poki hiyo neno na jambo la tano na la mwisho ambalo linafanya watu imani kanisani ipungue na washirika wapunguze imani yao ni kusikiza nega, listening to negative people in life kusikiza watu ambao wanaongea ma, ma kinyume kusikiza divi ambazo hazikusaidii katika maisha yako Haleluya. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Imani ya watu inapungua hapo. There's a story, there's a story, there's a story. There's a story in Numbers chapter 13. Hebu nifungulie Numbers chapter 13 from verse 27. Numbers 13. Numbers 13 verse 27. Hii ni hadithi ambayo Mungu alituma Musa alituma wana wa Israeli kwenda kufanya nini? Ku, kuangalia ile nchi wanaenda. Na ripoti ndio ilikuja. Na wale walitumwa ni viongozi hakutuma watu wa kawaida kwa kila kabila walitumwa watu mbili kulikuwa na kabila mbili every leader in that tribe ndiye alikuwa anachukuliwa kila kiongozi na kati ya hao ni Joshua na Caleb they were leaders in their tribes walikuwa viongozi katika makabila yao na wakachaguliwa waliporudi hii ndio hadithi walipeana hii ndio hadithi walipeana wakasema tulienda hiyo nchi niweke na Kiswahili. Tuende niweke kwa hiyo Kiswahili so that we can read together. Niweke kwa Kiswahili. Nasema namna gani? Wakawaambia wakasema tulifika nchi ile uliyotutuma. Na hakika yake ni nchi yenye wingi wa maziwa na asali na haya ndio matunda yake. Tuendelee mstari wa 28. Lakini <laughs> Wachana na mambo ya hasari, matunda nini wachana nayo. Lakini watu wanaokaa katika nchi ile ni hodari. Na miji yao ina maboma. Ba- maboma. Nayo ni makubwa sana. Na pamoja ya hayo tuliwaona wana wanaki huko. Nonanga, let me tell you, ile tunaitanga a kuongeza chumvi. Kwa story Unashasikianga watu wale wanaongezanga chumvi kwa story. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Hawa ni mavijana waliitwa waende wachague huko. Wana wanaki walikuwa wakati hata kabla ya wakati wa Noa. Wana wanaki. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Sasa hawa wanasema waliona wana wanaki. Waliwaona walijuaje wana wanaki wanakaa namna gani? Ujue ni uongo. Ni ile ile iliitwa kuongeza tu chumvi hata wana wanaki tuliona huko nani alikuwa na alama kusema mimi ni mwana wanaki ni kwa sababu uoga yao waliona hivi wakakumbuka story ya anaki 
ya majitu waliokuwa nakaa wakona hawa ni watoto wa majitu hawa hawa ni watoto wa majitu wakasema hata wana wanaki tuliona huko endelea mstari wa 29 nasema namna gani ameleki anakaa ha? aha wale watu wanaishi katika hiyo twende turuke turuke hapo na kuna mahali nataka uruke mstari wa ebuenda 14 14 end of verse 14 listening to negative people end of 14 verse 1 usikie eh, ibrus hesabu 14 mstari wa kwanza listening to negative people ebu sikia vile alifanya mkutano wote wakapaza sauti zao wakilia kusikiza stories za uongo stories za negative wakapaza sauti zao wakalia watu wakatoka machozi usiku ule <laughs> watu wanalia mpaka wanalia ni because of listening to negative do you know unaweza sikiza hadithi mpaka utembee uende usikize mpaka utembee ukiongwa na mama hivi unaona ni kama shetani imekuvamia juu umepewa story negative mpaka unaanza kukimbia wewe mwenyewe na ukimbizi na mtu Hawa walianza kulia usiku. Usiku. Wanalia machozi mzima mstari wa pili. Twende mstari wa pili. Aha. Mstari wa pili. The scriptures refused. Mstari wa pili. Maandiko imekataa ama namna. <laughs> Bwana ito sifiwe. Kisha wana wa Israeli wote wakamnugunikia Musa na Aruni. Mkutano wote wakawaambia ingekuwa heli kama tulikufa katika inchi ya Misri au tungekuwa heli kama tungalikufa katika jangwa hili listening to negative people ina reduce imani yako na kile waliomba ndio ilifanyika ati wangekufa katika jangwa hili they all died in that except two people Joshua and Caleb hiyo ombi lao Heli tungekufa kwa jangwa hili walizunguka kama wajinga katika hiyo jwanga baka wakakufa wote kusikiza watu negative reports kusikiza ina reduce imani yako who are the people you surround yourself with ni watu ambao wanaongea kuhusu mapepo ni watu wanaongea kuhusu nini ni nini unaongea ni kifo kila saa unaongea kifo 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 mpaka kinawakujia Unaongea nini? Imani inapungua by listening to negative stories. I want to finish. Nataka kumalizia mahubiri yangu kwa maana leo nina mambo mengi sana. I want to finish by saying na kuuliza hii swali. So what is conquering faith? Kwa hivyo imani inayoshinda iko namna gani? Na tunawezaje ijenga katika maisha yetu? How can we rebuild the faith that Gideon possessed? Samson possessed. Abel possessed. How can we rebuild this faith? I want to give you five things and then I finish very fast. Jambo la kwanza conquering faith imani ambayo imani ambayo ina ushindi conquering faith is built by listening and acting on god's word imani inaoleta ushindi inajengwa kwa kusikiza na kutenda neno la Mungu sio kusikiza peke yake kusikiza na kutenda romans chapter 10 verse 17 you can read about that and also in the book of james jambo la pili Imani inayoleta ushindi conquering faith is activated by our spoken word inafaiwa nguvu na neno tunayonena spoken word what we speak kile tunachonena second corinthians nilete hapo second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 second corinthians hiyo nataka kusoma biblia inasema it is written imeandikwa i believed therefore i have Nimeamini kwa hivyo nikafanya nini? Nikanena imani inayoleta ushindi inatiwa nguvu na maneno yetu, maneno yetu. When you speak it, it becomes. Asubuhi nilipia na hadithi ya kijana mmoja alikuwa chokora upande wa Dadora huko Nairobi. Alikuwa anaenda wanachukua, wanachukua hizi matakataka, wanakunywa hizi, tunajua chokora wanakunywa hizi gamu na nini? 
Siku moja wakaenda akakuta chakula za ndege 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 kuna chakula kinapiano kwa ndege zile zimebaki zinaribika zinatupwa zinaenda zinatupwa katika Dandora dump site. Na wakiwa katika hiyo Dandora dump site akachukua hiyo chakula akakula akasema guy hii ni chakula iko tamu hivi eh siku moja akaanza kusema hivyo kijana huyo siku moja nitakuwa pilot wa ndege wacha wengine wacheke wacha wengine wacheke waseme gai mtu anakunywa ana tuko naye hapa kwa nini inaitwa ji kwa kwa, kwa kwa street utakuwa pilot wapi anasema siku moja nitakuwa pilot wanakulanga chakula tamu hivi siku moja nitakuwa pilot Wakienda mahali anasema siku moja nitakuwa pilot. Wanacheka, wanaanguka wengine wanaanguka. But sema one day siku moja. Siku moja. Mtu mmoja alikuja na akachukua huyo kijana kutoka kwa street. Akachukua pia wengine. Akachukua huyo kijana kwa street. Akampeleka in an orphanage. Na akaanza kutrainiwa just in Nairobi. Na akaanza kutrainiwa. Akaanza kuperform vizuri kwa masomo yake. Siku moja wakati ambapo amemaliza class yetu yake sita ya class 8 alipokuwa amemaliza class 8 akapatana na mama mmoja ambayo aliona zile vitu unajua watoto wana presenting vitu anakuja na present wakaona eh hey, ukijana na present vizuri he looks like a sharp boy wakaanza kuongea na yeye akamwambia what is your dream i want to be a pilot come here want to be a pilot yes kumbe hakujua ule ameongea na yeye ni mama wa pilot mke wa pilot na akachukuliwa hiyo kijana akaenda secondary school akamaliza as we are talking right now that boy is a pilot kutoka kwa street what gave what activated the faith spoken word na ndio bibili nasema it is written let hiyo maandiko siko nimemaliza it is written i believed therefore i have spoken Since we have the same spirit of faith kwa maana tuna ile roho sawa ya imani we also believe and therefore speak imani inayoleta overcoming inayo overcome inayo conquer is a spoken faith you activate it by speaking nena maneno mazuri kwa watoto wako usiseme huyu anakaa mkora unajua kuna watu wanadifa maneno yao ya maombi na maneno yao ya nyumba iko tu tofauti. Kwa maombi anasema bariki mtoto wa. Kwa nyumba anaita mtoto wake nini? Nyoka. Na mujinga. Kwa maombi anasema bwana bariki mtoto wa. Mfungulie mila. Kwa nyumba anasema wewe hata utasonga mbele. Wewe hata hakuna mahali unaenda. Maneno mbili tofauti. Maneno ya maombi na maneno ya nyumba. May your words be consistent. Unanenea mtoto wako na mwambie I know you are blessed. Unajua nini eh wewe umebarikiwa. Kuuliza kwa nini kwa maana ninakuombea kama mzazi wako. You are blessed. Your future is great. Activate your faith by speaking the word of God to your to your situation. Bwana wetu asifiwe. So imani inaoleta mabadiliko ni imani ambayo inakuwa activated through spoken word. Conquering faith, the faith that conquers sees different. Inaonanga mambo tofauti vile watu wanaona. Amen. Faith does not see the way other people see. Imani inayo conquer inaona vitu tofauti. Hebrews. Faith Hebrews 11:32. Hebrews 11:32. Niletee kwa haraka, nataka kumaliza. I want to finish. 11:32 inasema namna gani? And ah ah, sio 32. 23 I mean 23 yes sorry Ni 23 Niweke 23 By faith honor by faith Moses parents hid him for three months after he was born because because they saw he was no ordinary child Niweke kwa Kiswahili Niweke kwa Kiswahili. Kwa imani Musa alipozaliwa akafichwa miezi mitatu na wazazi wake kwa sababu waliona kwamba waliona kwamba ni mtoto mzuri 
wala hawakuogopa amri ya mfalme wakati wazazi wengine walikuwa wanapeleka watoto wao wa uliwe wa vijana mtoto wa babu, mzazi wa Musa alisema huyu mtoto wangu huyu kijana yangu Aa, aliangalia hivi alipomzaa akamwangalia na mrai hakuwa na vile wa wazazi wengine walikuwa wanaona watoto wao walikuwa wanaona watoto wao wanazali wanasema yeye unakupenda lakini wacha nikupeleke kwa mfalme uuliwe anauliwa mzazi wa Musa aliona Musa hivi akasema eh na huyu mtoto ni mzuri huyu mtoto ni wa ajabu hata kama mfalme amesema wakufe huyu si huyu he is so different faith sees imani inaona na imani inaoshindwa haioni kushindwa imani inaoshinda haioni kushindwa inaona overcoming how do you see people wengine wanaonanga mabwana zao ni kama mashetani wameletwa kwao wengine wanaonanga wake zao ni kama mapepo sio mashetani sasa mapepo ilikuja kukaa kwa nyumba how do you see your wife unaona mke wako mume wako watoto wako namna gani eh? unawaona namna gani wengine wanaanga ni kama tupepo tudogo badala ya kuona faith sees imani inafanya nini inaona wengine wanaonanga au ni kitu bure sana hata wenyewe wakijiangalia sema mimi mimi hata siwezi endesha gari au taendesha mimi mimi baisikiri iwezi karibia mimi haitakuja karibu na wewe utaionanga tu eh? kwa maana vile unavyojiona hivyo ndivyo ulivyo as a man thinketh ndio biblia inasema in proverbs as a man thinketh so he is vile unavyojiona mimi ah watu wanasema mimi hata siwezi kufanya nini faith sees haleluya faith sees kuna kadvat kana tokanga pale ka still na nika advert sijui kama wakristo tu wana hata wengine waonangi hiyo advert kwa tv mtu anatukanga tu kwa gari anasema and here there will be the gate here and here the cars will be parking here and here now that is faith i like that mimi wa ninaona hiyo ninafurahia sana watu wanaangaliana wanashindwa au wengine wanaulizana where is it all of a sudden kinyumba cha still kinatokea milango anasema wow that is faith What are you seeing? Uliza jirani yako unaona nini? Unajua kuna watu wanaona tu mashetani na mapepo na nini? Eh? What you see is what you'll get. Mama ya Musa aliona Musa akasema, "Eh, huyu kijana hauya hezi uliwa kama wale wengine. Huyu hata kufa. Now that is faith. Huyu hata kufa. Au wengine wanakufa huyu hata kufa, huyu hata kufa." prophesy and see in your life faith that conquers eh huh? usione tuka biashara yako ni kadogo inua imani yako see according to what you can see hiyo ndio Mungu aliambia Abraham in the book of Genesis lift up your eyes mahali pote utaona hapo ndio pata kuridhi wa so Musa kainua macho akaangalia aliona tu Israeli peke yake kale ka Israeli unaona kale ka Israeli saizi kako kako huko 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 juu kale kanapigana Paris hako ni macho ya, ya Abraham iliona kama angeona zaidi mpaka Afrika hata sisi tungekuwa huko macho yake ilifika tu hapo ka Israeli akaona tu hivi na ndio nolanga ni kadogo akaangalia kambu angalia mahali utaona as you can see you will get it do you know usiwahi la umu mtu yote ati wewe usonge mbele wewe jila umu <laughs> ambie jirani yako jila umu bwana <laughs> imani yako ndio itafanya ufike mahali unata unataka jambo la ngapi ni la tatu ama la ine. la ine. a conquering faith is positive and is focused on god imani inaoshinda iko positive lakini iko focused kwa nani? Kwa Mungu. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 2 Corinthians 4:18. 2 Corinthians 4:18. Alafu nimalize na mwisho. 2 Corinthians 4:18. 2 Corinthians 4:18. 2 Corinthians 4:18. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. What we 
Since what is, is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Focusing on God. Amen. Hatuweki macho yetu kwa zile vitu tunaona. Tunaweka macho yetu kwa kile ambacho kionekani. Paulo akasema mimi niko lengo niko nayo. Faith that conquers iko focused. Sio imani ambayo inatazamia vitu inamtazamia Mungu. The focus of faith is on God. Amen. Na jambo la mwisho nataka kumalizia na hii. Faith that conquers never gives up. Amen. Faith that conquers never gives up. Mustari 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 to 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 16. Therefore we do not lose heart. We do not give up. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Mustari wa kumina saba. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Niweke kwa kiswaili. Kwanzia mustari wa kumina sita. Niweke kwa kiswaili. Tunapo malizia. Na malizia hapa. Malizia hapa. Imani inayo ushindi. Kwa hiyo, hatulegei. Imani inayo ushindi hailegei. Kuna vitu unaweza pitia katika maisha yako. Ya, ya mateso kidogo. Kuna vitu zineza stua wewe kidogo. Lakini imani yako. Imani inayo shinda. Hailegei. You may pass some troubles. Uneza pitia mashida kadha. Imani inayo amini. Hailegei. Bali ijapokuwa utu wetu wa inje unachaka. Lakini utu wetu wa ndani unafanywa upia kila siku baada ya siku kwa siku. Mustari wa kumina saba? Mustari wa kumina saba? Yes. Maana viki yetu ni nyepesi. Ilio ya muda wa kitambo tu. Ya kutufanya utukufu. Ya tufanyia utukufu wa milele. Uzidio kuwa mwingi sana. Imani haikati tamaa. Leo unaweza omba na uone jambo alijatokea. You should not give up. Faith does not give up. Himani ya ilegei. Unaweza kuomeombea jambo muujiza utendeke na ujatendeka. Imani inaoshinda hailegei. Hallelujah. You continue praying until the appointed time. Kwa maana kuna miujiza ya wakati fulani. Kuna miujiza uwezi pewa saa hii. Kuna miujiza mungu uneza omba mungu saa hii. Na atailete miaka mbili na okuja. Na na sababu zake za kucheleweche yu miujiza. Imani inayo shinda. A conquering faith does not give up. There is nothing like giving up. Na nataka kunena na watu wamba umeomba kwa muda mrefu. Pengine umeombea watoto wako. Umeombea kazi yako. Na unaona hakuna mabadiliko. I want to tell you don't give up. Don't give up. In the kingdom of God katika ufalme wa binguni hakuna kitu kama giving up. We move on from one glory to another one. Tunatoka katika utukufu moja hadi utukufu mwingine. Faith that conquers. Imani ambayo inafauru na inashinda ni imani ambayo haikati tama. Haikati tama. We are given a story of Elijah. Ambayo liomba mara saba. Anatuma mtumishi, mtumishi anakuja na muambia. Hakuna darili ya tamvua. Na naomba. Anasema angalia tena. Mara ya piri hakuna darili ya mvua. Anaendelea kuomba. Mara ya tatu. Mara ya ine. Mara ya tano. Mara ya saba. Mtumishi wake anakuja na muambia. We. Nimeona kama wingu kadogo kama ngu kama ngumi akaamuka akaambia mfalme kimbia kabla mvua ijaenda na wewe kwa maana imani hakuna kitu kama giving up i pray may the spirit of this church be a spirit of not giving up in jesus name may the spirit of the men in this church 
roho ya wazee kwa nyumba iwe ni roho ambayo hailegei hawakati tamaa wamama kanisa hili wawe ni wamama ambao hawakati tamaa hawalegei kwa imani yao vijana kwa kanisa hili wawe ni vijana ambao hawatishwi na zile vitu zinaendelea najua kuna vitu vingi zinachota vijana eh u.com na vitu mingi sana imani yako isichotwe ambie jirani yako imani yako isichotwe ili vitu zako zichotwe lakini imani isichotwe bwana wetu asifiwe najua wale watu wanakuja kwa malono wanakuja kwa wanachota vitu eh siku moja miaka mingi siju kama pori kapa nakumbuka tulichotangwa fridge nakumbukanga eh 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 si ndio ikakuja kutoa bwana mama anua akasema usichote mchana itakuwa ni aibu kuja uchote usi usi <laughs> bwana wetu asiviwe hiyo ni story ya siku nyingine usijari ni story gani hiyo but it was here bwana wetu asiviwe Wacha friji choto ilichotwa lakini imani yetu ikuchotwa. Sasa hizi we have a bigger even bigger even more than one. More than one fridge. Na ile ya huko ilichotwa siku hiyo. Chotwa vitu zingine zote ambie jirani yako chotwa vitu zingine zote lakini usichotwe imani yako. Haleluya. May your faith be steadfast. Iwe imesimama imara. Believe in God when you are down. Believe in God when you are up. Believe in God when you are celebrating. Believe in God when you are mourning. Believe in God when things are going well. Believe in God when things are going bad. Imani yako isichotwe. Isimame imara katika jina la Yesu. And you will overcome. One day you will sema utasema ya kuwa Bwana amesimama na mimi. Saa hizi unaweza kuwa chini. Saa hizi unaweza kuwa chini. Saa hizi mambo inaweza kuwa imekufinya. Saa hizi hata watu wanaweza kukupea story wakwambie give up even on your god kama vile walikuja marafiki wa job wakamwambie kosa imani kwa Mungu wako tukana Mungu ukufe mke wake akamwambia hivyo tukana Mungu ukufe kwa nini unashikiria kamwambia siwezi fanya jambo kama hilo shikiria imani yako your salvation your deliverance your miracle is just at the law but it requires your faith shall we stand in Jesus name I pray in this church will you have men and women jana ambao hawatishwi na raha dunia najua kitu kimoja kinatisha vijana wetu ni maraha maraha ya dunia mavitu zinaitwa lgbt na ma lcqt all ama l what whatever whatever they are zinatisha mavijana sana may your faith never be shaken because of this thing young people were here prove there is a god in heaven prove amini bwana ubarikiwe sima uende kwa mifefe uoleo kwa mifefe amini bwana ulete hapa ukuje ufanyie harusi hapa we celebrate and you prove there is a god in heaven haleluya prove it do it differently ifanye tofauti Watu wamefanya hivi but I will do it differently because my God liveth. Mungu wangu anaishi. Inua mkono wako. Mwambie Bwana, I know imani yako. Tell God to raise your faith. Refuse fear. Kataa uoga. Kataa reasoning. Kataa mambo ambayo yanadidimisha imani. Kataa mambo ambayo yanabuza imani yako. Kataa ambazo zitashusha imani yako ambia bwana raise my faith i believe in you we believe in you jehovah we believe in you we believe in your power we believe in your authority we believe you are the same yesterday today and forever the miracles you did yesterday you can do them in our times you can do them in our lives you can do them in our families you can do them in this church oh shatama poyoribia oh le katata mama poyoribia and the spirit lo ambayo inapuza imani ya wa kristo ninaivunja lo ya uoga the spirit of fear i rebuke it in jesus name the spirit of negative thinking maso ya ki ya ya negative ninaivunja in jesus i release your people ninaachilia wazee
Nachilia mama, nachilia vijana, nachilia tawato kwa imani iliyo inayoleta mabadiliko katika jina la Yesu. A faith that will conquer. Faith that will conquer kingdoms. A faith that will possess. A faith that will make promises to come to life. A imani ambayo italetea ahadi za Bwana, ahadi za uponyaji. A- wa milele ahadi za milango kufunguka ninaomba Bwana achilie imani hiyo achilie imani hiyo kwa kanisa hili achilie imani hiyo kwa wazee achilie imani hiyo kwa mama kwa vijana hata watoto wetu sana achilie imani hiyo katika jina la Yesu we defeat the enemy we conquer the evil one in the voice of the devil we silence it in Jesus name sauti ya yule mwovu tunainyamazisha katika jina la Yesu najua bwana anatenda nda kama chukua nda that God will release a faith in this church. Lord will release a faith in the men and women and the youth in this church in Jesus name. Our faith will be a conquering faith. We will not give up. Hata tupitie mangumu will not give up. We will believe in God in Jesus name. Father, I pray for your people. You know what they are passing through. Wengine ni wagonjwa kati yetu, wengine wanahitaji miujiza, wengine wanahitaji milango ifunguke. Na wengine wanaona ni kama miujiza yao imechelewa. Bwana I pray release your faith. Achilie imani yako. Let them rise in faith again. Wainuke na imani yao Bwana. Watende makuu katika jina la Yesu. Wamiliki falme. Wapokee ahadi zao. Washinde maadui zao katika jina la Yesu. Neema yako iwe juu yao. Father I bless your people. Nabariki wa mama wa vijana watoto wetu bwana we declare your faith upon them that it will conquer every kingdom it will conquer every voice it will conquer every obstacle kwa utukufu wa jina lako asante because you will make them more than conquerors kwa utukufu wa jina lako katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kubariki watu wako can the church shout amen can we shout amen? Pigia makofi bwana wetu Yesu. Salimia jirani yako, mwambie inua imani yako. Msalimie mwambie inua imani yako. Wacha kukata tamaa. Inua imani yako. On our social media platforms, Facebook page and YouTube channel as Housing KG. God bless you.